Hello everybody, how are we all doing? It's Angela here again today and I hope that you're all doing well. I'm just trying to recover after having to mow the lawn and I'm feeling quite knackered. Um, but uh, my poor little Abby, her, every time she had to go outside and do her thing, uh, it was coming to the point where I would need to send out a little search party because I couldn't see her. The grass has grown so much because of all the rain we've had in the past two weeks. So it had to be done. So I'm trying to recover here. Right. Um, I've got a really exciting project um, that I've been working on for a while. And um, I wanted to, do, I was busy doing it. And then I thought, no, um, why don't I share the process with you as I do it um, and that way I won't get the questions about how do I do this or can you do that because we do it together so that's what I'm planning to do today so let me grab that for you so this is a work in progress um, and I have taken uh, the cover idea that I showed you once before for my kitchen journal my kitchen or recipe journal and I have used this with a different theme completely. It's along the spring and um, I'm, I would say floral sort of um, theme throughout. I've used a lot of pinks in here, a lot of peaches and those sorts of tones. And it is really a celebration of flowers and all things spring, but really it could go for any time. So that's what I've done here. So as you can see, if I just lift this it's not connected yet so it's all loose and i'm trying to hold it together um right if you have a look here you can see i've used the same pocket idea on the front i've laid it up with the fabrics except i've used a doily digital this time not a brown um script one put in a few pieces of lace so two pieces of lace here stuck on some of my butterflies um this is a pocket again with a little a postcard uh, image on there and that just fits into that pocket if the middle of the book doesn't fall out that is um, and then we've got little bits of um, ribbon here with some flowers with little pearls these come from, this comes from Plum Boutique you know I like to buy my ribbons and trims there um, so that's what we've got on the cover. So I'm quite like that. Uh, the cover itself, um, let me just take the middle bit out. The cover itself is exactly the same format as I did for that recipe journal. Um, I've covered it with wallpaper um, and you can see I've got the one piece like that. I've got the other piece that's going to fit and I'm going to do something with that. Um, and then we will carry on and do the rest as before. But I've got some different ideas and a completely new kit. And it's my own kit. So I'm very excited to share with you. This is the bit that's going to go in the middle. Um, and I'll show you where I am with that. So just a quick little flip through. Um, these are all uh, kits from all my own kits, including this one. So... I've got some um, pages there. I've got um, things planned to go into ver various pages. I've got um, my vintage pet book pages here and some other thingies as we go. And I will share that with you as we do the process. So I'm hoping that you're going to want to follow along and do your own version of this um, or do exactly what I'm doing so that's all up to you all right so that is the little project that I'm currently working on now um, and I want to show you the little kit that I have put together all right so we have this kit um, and I've loved putting this together it was a lot of fun and a lot of frustration but it was a learning curve and you learn as you go um, it's called floral folly and really, that's exactly what it is. It's about, um, which is me all over. It is f florals, butterflies, and a little bit of um, whimsy here and there, you know. So um, let's have a look at it. So these are the pages themselves. And they are 13 pages for you to use in this digital kit. I've tried to use all the sorts of things that I like to use and look for when I'm trying to use it in a project. So... Um, this is the first page, lots of pinks, lots of butterflies, and I do love 
the, the swirls and things in there. So that's the first page. Then we've got another one. Again, lots of pinks, butterflies. It's got a vintage feel, this has, this, this actual one. Here's now we're going on to the peaches and the uh, oranges and yellows. So we've got uh, that as well. And then again, um, some beautiful pinks and a touch of lilac. So I love that page. Um, back onto the peaches and the creams. Beautiful pages again. Lovely florals. And then another one. Again with the pinks and the butterflies. And then the last actual patterned page. Which again has these beautiful peachy colours here. So those are the actual digital pages themselves. Then what I've got are a couple of sort of what I call background pages or pages I like to work with um, to enhance other pieces. So I have added um, a couple here. I've got it the wrong way around, so let's just turn that around. So uh, we've got this lovely um, antique rose sort of color here, which works perfectly. These all match very well with the pages themselves. So we've got that one. Um, then I've done a little bit of a sepia page because that's really handy and makes things pop when you use this. So I like that. And then I've got quite a, a, a lovely green here, which is quite vibrant, but it is the perfect match to the greens that we're going to use um, with the florals. So that's that. Then I've also added um, a nice pink uh, with um, French sort of script in it. And that's a great um complimentary page to the kit and then i've just got two pages here which are uh, the peach and the pink um, little polka dots and of course this also works really well with some of the things that i've been doing so you've got 13 pages in that kit um, so pretty much quite comprehensive and i will be doing lots of things in that this journal with these all right so that's the first bit um, the second bit that I've done is a little add-on kit. Um, this is just a little uh, small kit with a few pieces of ephemera. Um, I do use, I am going to be making a lot more ephemera um, using the kit and other templates that I have and other things. So we've got large tags because you can't go wrong with large tags. Love those. So just some examples um, to match up with the pages. So that's the first one. Then I've got um, smaller tags, six smaller tags uh, that also work well um, with the kits. And then, of course, over here, we've just got five different stamps, some landscape, some portrait. So when we're making our little um, envelopes, we've got some stamps there as well. Um, I have put together these, which I'm going to say are journaling cards, but you can also see the way the, the designs of and how I've used them. I'm going to turn them into postcards as well, and I'll show you how to do that. So that's got dual purpose. And then the last page here is pockets. So we've got some pockets, um, the triangular ones. We've got some side on pockets as well. All right, so those that's the little add-on kit that I did. So that's that one. And then the very last kit that I've done that I've been using with this is an ephemera kit, which matches with all the peaches, the pinks, and all the colors we're using. And um, a lot of this is taken from my own personal ephemera that I've had, um, antique ephemera, um, and also other images that I've collected. All right, so here are um, some beautiful um, Catherine Klein postcards that I have. And I've got quite a selection of those in my own personal stash. So I've scanned those in and shared those with you. And these images are absolutely stunning. All right, so there's that. Um, then I've got a lot of these here. Again, another postcard, a couple of labels and some other images that I found. Um, and then we've got some more with some smaller little bits that we're going to use. And I couldn't resist this little um, bird black and white one. It's always nice to have a combination with um, planar colours as well. So we've got that. And then this last one here. Again, this is one of my own um, antique postcards. 
uh, that I've scanned in here and that's the back of it so we'll be putting that together and then some other pieces that we're going to use and then the last page here um, another Catherine Klein one of my um, postcards and some other beautiful images that I have as well so that's made up of five pages this matches perfectly with what I'm going to do with the journal that we're going to make together and I will share all the steps with you there and then again as I said I've got the add-on kit which is over here and then um, the 13 pages that I'm going to use throughout so everything that we have here along with my going to use my background pages the tea avocado and lace pages because it works so nicely with this um, also use um, some of my doily pages because um, just pulled one out that I saw lying here they also will work very well so everything that I do have will complement this kit here and we'll be able to use it all together even the little butterflies all right so i hope that you've enjoyed all of that i hope that you're going to be really excited to put together one of these with me um and you can see here's one of the background pages and here's one of the pieces of ephemera that that's my own floral um digital kit that's my butterfly kit this is my doily kit those are my typewriter um things so i'll put all those links in the description box for you to have a look of course you do not have to do this with my kits if you've got any other kits that you would prefer to use please go ahead follow along um you know there's no rules to say that you must use what i'm doing this is just what i will be working on for the next couple um, of tutorials making some new projects to go into this all right so i hope that you're going to enjoy this as i said we will um you can just see now as i quickly flip through this what i've done this is going to be my first page and on the back i've printed out that um lovely antique rose color digital i've got um, a tea stained paper here i've just wrapped an envelope around that just remind me then i've got this beautiful one there and on the back of that i've put the brown and that then matches up with this gorgeous page over here now this page i've sewn together to make a pocket as you can see and i've put a peach one on the back there so that's what i've done there I've put two vintage little pages um, from my observer book in here and on this page I've used the doily printout so you can see where the doily and all of this sort of works so nicely together. Um, on the other side of the doily I have printed the avocado stained page um, and then here you can see the next page that I'm going to use so that's really awesome I love that um, love these scrolls um, got a polka dot page on the back here which um, sort of goes on to one of my another vintage page which is like a, a birthday book and we'll put something on there here I've got a one page pocket that I'm going to put in here so I've just been sort of mark earmarking places where I'm going to be doing certain things so that's with that script page this is a tea stain paper and then here we have the beautiful um, peach with butterflies a page there and we've got the peach polka dot on the back of that here is another tea stain paper and i have put my page wrap um, on the end and i again will make a folder for this um, floral folly journal and you can find all the relevant um, tutorials that i've included so you've seen me make this before um, and that's going to go on to the end of that tea stain paper how beautiful does that look with all the colors that we're using and then on this side i had a vintage page and i just matched that up with the lovely um, soft uh, lavender colors in there um, here we have this page um, that you've seen in the kit uh, which is gorgeous and then on the back of that i've put another um, rose sort of antique rose color print and the other another vintage page this is a tea stain page and you've seen me put this together when we were working with um, digitals and things so I'll put the link for that uh, here's a darker tea stain page and a more peach polka dot and then 
I've got this page with the butterflies over there, which is gorgeous. And then that goes really nicely with that avocado uh, digital that I have that goes with the lace one. So there's the, the lacy one. That's the same kit. And then um, here's another gorgeous page from a vintage book that I have. Um, I love that. All right, and then it's just the middle of the journal, so we're going to go back the other way. So I'll just go quicker now. Um, isn't that so pretty? I do love it. This is a project that I'll be putting in over there. Um, just one of my wildflower things, and I showed you that in how to alter your digital sizes. Um, the other side, this is all the other side of those pages as I said so we will fill this up with some beautiful page decorating and lovely ephemera this is another tutorial that I have done and I thought that looked beautiful just over there so we'll judge that up a bit um, this is a flip out thing that we did so I'll put that into that playlist for you and then again just another vintage page um, this is the other side of all the pages, as I said, which works really well like this. So this is the pocket, the other side of the pocket. And then we come back to the end over here again. Right, I've put my belly band that I also made and I thought that looked good. So that's in there with my doilies and things. And you've seen me make that too. And that's the end of it. So... If you're happy to join me and we'll have um, a little journal this, uh, like this at the end, then I would love for you to join me and follow along. And we'll be doing a couple of different projects that'll go in here. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for sharing um, your time with me today. Always appreciative of that. Um, I will put the links for the playlist for all the projects I've already done that I'm going to use in this book. You can gather your pages together for your journal. If you're wanting to use any of these kits, I will have the links in my description box below. Um, if you are on your phone, that'll be the little V just below the video. Or if you're on your computer, it says see more. Click on that and you'll find the description box. So I look forward to hearing um, what you have to say about this new project and these kits. I would love for you to leave me a comment below. Thank you, everyone. And I'm going to see you very soon with our first little project. Bye bye.